All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, it is December now and we're gonna try and catch some more stripers. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. This will be the latest I've ever gone striper fishing. I know that it's not unprecedented for a lot of you, but usually by this point I just give up, uh, but not this year. It's been a really hot bite. And you know, last time I fished, which was about a week ago, they were still in stacked in numbers, not even have that much time, and I still got into fish. So go. Yeah, that's a good one. Definitely better. Yeah, that would make it this will make it worth the trip. See what we got. See how nice of a fish we got. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice one. That made it worth the trip. 20 pounder at least. Maybe bigger, I don't know. Too much fun. Too much fun, folks. fish like that one more nice striper neighborhood of 20 pounds maybe a little less I don't know solid though let's get her back biting on my hands good to go Well, definitely bigger than I thought, but he's not that big. It's like a 10 pounder, maybe. There you are. Solid. Eh, bigger than 10. You could be 15. Thereabouts. Get a look at you. Yeah, 12 pounder maybe. Ready to go. That one didn't take long. Doesn't feel huge, but it's a fish. Not a small one. He doesn't think he's that small. Jeez, might be bigger than the last one, I don't know. Oh yeah, that one's a 15, that's a teener. Yeah, maybe not, I don't know, he's just thick. Just thick. Turn up my thumb. If there's even some around, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, so I don't even know if I'm just talking to myself right now and this is all gonna be deleted or not, but if you're watching it, I think you know how things are gonna go. So yeah, like I've said it every time, every time I go out, it's like this might be the last saltwater trip of the year. And that is very much the case right now. So we'll, we will find out soon enough. Uh, but when that does happen, we will be switching to freshwater. Uh, more to come about that soon. 
Uh, additionally, I'm hoping to catch fish today because if I do, that would mean that every single month of 2021, I caught at least some fish, uh, which is something I did in 2019, but not 2020. I find December is like probably the second hardest month living in the Northeast. Um, January can be pretty tough too, but it can be done and we're going to try and make it happen today. Get our fish to make it a full 12 month season though this isn't my only option there's definitely freshwater stuff i can make work but yeah while you're here hit that like button subscribe if you haven't done so uh and hopefully we have some good stuff planned for you soon so stay tuned because we're about to get some fishing accomplished all right we're in the water folks definitely getting cooler i can feel that water through the dry suit like not getting in but just the the temperature and it's getting chilly so if anything, if you see this and get motivated to get out here this time of year, or in the early spring, definitely show up ready. Don't show up without a dry suit. You fall and it's gonna be bad news, but uh, let's see if these fish are still, let's see if these fish are still around. All right, we got our procured up shad. It's time to see what we can do in December. It is true. There's definitely some fish under us. Dead low tide. See if anything's biting. Anything big too, or anything. Okay, so this is without question going to be the last video of new content that I'll be putting on YouTube this year. Um, yeah, and this is salt water. It's from earlier in December, like the first week or two of December. Uh, I just never got a chance to get back out. I'm sure as of me posting this on YouTube, there's still fish around the area. I just have not had the time. It's been really busy running around and doing all this stuff for work, but I figured I'd end uh, my last new content video with some saltwater stuff. So had to cut a lot of footage from this, just tons of small fish. So I figured I'd show some of the better sized ones to end the year proper. But without further ado, here we go. Got him. Ah, missed him. Just missed one. Wouldn't feel huge, but take anything right now just to break the skunk. There we go. No skunk today, folks. No skunk today. Doesn't feel huge, but we'll take a fish. It's got some weight. Little below slot fish. Sitting in the middle. That's got some spunk to them. Inhaled it. Nothing else, we got our last fish of the year. Finally stuck a fish. Nothing else, we got our first fish and hopefully not last fish of December. But let's see if we can do better and do bigger. I'm sure there's some big ones still around. Nuts. Another near slot fish. What's up? Chunky guy. Don't have my grippers today, folks, so leader and lip. That's all we got. Thick. Yeah, nice. Let's get you back. All right, just got another one. Little guy or gal. But we're okay with that. We're just happy to catch anything in December in salt water because these days are so limited. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. Come 
right up. Not that little. Not that big though. Fish are definitely fattening up though. Look how fat that thing is. Uh, nothing more for you. There he is. That's a better one, I think. Got some better head shapes. Yeah, this is a better one. Don't know how much better, but yeah. a, lot, a slot. Chunky, chunky fish, though. Little slot guy. They are fat, jeez. Oh, okay, that's little guy, really little guy. Maybe not, I don't know. Now you're fighting. the fish but let's see if we can find some big ones try casting a little more Lots of piglets. No cows yet, though. Might be better. That's a better one. That's a better one. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Felt good for a sec. Now he's kind of fighting like a small fish. Maybe we'll see. I don't think he's that big. Got some pull. Best of the day. Not huge, but nice. It's like a 12, 13 pounder, probably. Yes, indeedy. Chunky, chunky fish. Easy, buddy, easy. Shouldn't make rippers. Thick one. A little. Thick 12, 13 pounder. Let's get a inches measure. Oh, that's not good. Let's deal with that. 
suck. But let's just see. This fish is a little over 30. It's bent. Alright. 30-incher. See you later. Okay, just got our best fish of the day. Not huge, but above slot. Not above slot, within slot. About a 30, 30, 31 inch uh, striper. Nothing uh, too shabby, but let's see if we can get something even bigger. We know they're around. Let's see if we can get a, another nice one. be a good one I don't think so though I don't know it's going back and forth that feels better though let's not get pulled into this it's definitely better I don't know if it's I don't know if it's huge or big it's not a tiny one though it's coming up fairly easily but it's got some weight Yeah, another 30 incher ish. Got hooked them kind of weird. That's what's going on. All right. 28 incher probably. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Simmer down now. Simmer down now. Cool. Okay, after a brief hiatus, folks, we are back on the Seltzer game and we're trying something a little different. We're going into the Seltzer Junior from Polar. Uh, my wife picked these up, at least that's what I'm saying is happening. Uh, name is pretty silly Unicorn Kisses. Saw this in the fridge. My wife doesn't want to drink it, so let's put it to the review. Oh, that's weird. Kind of tastes like bubble gum. I don't know. Uh, definitely marketed towards children, but it's seltzer, so uh, I don't know if I would drink this again, but it's something to drink for now. So let's see if we can get on some more fish, have that refreshment to go, and uh, hopefully get a few more before it's time to leave, you know. Let's get back down there. One thing I've been doing try and get a few more bites from better fish just throw pro cure on the lure i mean i've always been doing that but i've especially been pretty diligent to keep up with it now just because i'm finding a lot more small fish are willing to bite than larger ones so i don't know if that's a, a causation or correlation thing but uh the last two have been better so let's see if we can uh keep continue that trend so we know there's plenty of little piglets around A lot of fish under us right now all over the water column top middle and bottom but we're working the bottom because that's where i'm finding the best fish have been now let's see if this is one of them feels decent not huge but right in the bottom not a little one that's for sure Another near slot. It's probably around the size we're gonna top out at today, unless I'm brutally or terribly mistaken. It's like probably 26 inch thereabouts. Come on, buddy. I don't have rippers today. Caught me some slack. Okay, we just got another near slot size bass near the bottom. Uh, there's definitely some better sized ones around, but we don't know if there's any big ones. So we're gonna keep fighting the good fight and hopefully uh, it'll pay off. Let's get it back down deep.
seltzer. Probably for the better, it's not very good. <sighs> Got some fish in the bottom. Oh, hit it on the way down. Got him that time. A little guy. <sighs> Near slot. Twenty four, twenty five incher. Too much fun, folks. Too much fun. fish all over. Little piglet spitting up bait. Up. They're not bad near slot. Easy, 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 buddy. Easy, easy, easy. Simmer down now. Death spiral. Trying to get you right back. Could be a good one. Feels like a good one. Better one. Respect him. Okay, so that's going to do it for this fishing video. Uh, thank you for watching. I could keep this footage going and going and going, but it's just really repetitive. A lot of smaller stuff, uh, nothing too huge, but a blast nonetheless, especially in December. So uh, I'll leave this extra footage playing in the background. Um, and this isn't even technically the last day of fishing that I did in 2021. Uh, as I'm making this video, I actually went fishing this morning in freshwater and did pretty well. Uh, and you can look forward to that in early 2022 when I post it. Uh, additionally, uh, additionally, I'm looking to post a top 10 of 21 video. Uh, and I'll try and make as much variety to that as possible. So it's like a clean sweep from beginning to the end of the year. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. And finally, I just got to shout myself out here. Um, one a goal I had for this year was to try and make at least one new fishing video each week of the year. Uh, and I like to say that with this video, I meet that goal. Uh, at the very least, I made one video a week. And some, video, some weeks I made even two or potentially three full videos. That was rare. Uh, so I'm happy to do that. I can't say that I'm going to do this for sure in 2022. I'll try, but it's probably not going to be possible with a lot of the stuff I've got coming up, but uh, I'm happy that I can make it happen. I hope you enjoyed and followed along, and if you're new, uh, hopefully there'll be plenty of new stuff in the future. I've already got a couple videos planned, including the one from today. Uh, one other thing I'll say is this is the last time you're seeing me fish off this yellow kayak. I finally got my replacement haul, so maybe I'll do a run-through of that too. Uh, i got a new kayak, which I'll unveil soon enough. So thank you for watching as always. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you on the water soon. Uh, in 2022, so you know what we're going to do. We're going to get some fishing accomplished. And of course, goodbye from fishing. Catch y'all later.